Meghan Markle seems to always be at war with the media, or rather, the British media seems rather keen on attacking Markle. This constant battle could be partially due to the fact that Markle is new to being a royal. Coming from the world of Hollywood socialites, the former actress is used to having a lot more freedom to do what she wants. Sure, paparazzi would snap photos of her before, but no one really cared what she did. The worst that could happen was that she would be listed on someone's worst dressed list. View this post on Instagram today, we are excited to be able to announce details for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's upcoming tour to Africa. In just two weeks, their royal highnesses will embark on this official tour focusing on community, grassroots leadership, women's and girls' rights, mental health, HIV, AIDS and the environment. This program has been many months in the making, and the Duke and Duchess are eager to focus their energies on the great work being done in Southern Africa. From meeting with Archbishop Desmond Tutu to joining Waves for Change on Monwa BC Beach, the South Africa program will be educational and inspiring. The Duke is especially proud to continue the legacy left by his mother with her work in Angola as he joins Halo Trust again in an effort to rid the world of landmines. HRH will also travel to Malawi where he will check in on the British Army's partnership with African Parks and will be working on the ground supporting local communities. The Duke is particularly proud to be able to deliver an exciting new initiative, a Queen's Commonwealth Canopy 3 country partnership which he designed and consulted with governments in Namibia, Botswana and Angola to protect forest and wildlife corridors around the Okavango Delta. The Duchess will be working with local organizations to promote women and girls' health and education, entrepreneurship and leadership. With such a textured culture and history, their Royal Highnesses are grateful for the opportunity to connect with those on the ground in Southern Africa and to be inspired by the work being done and learn how they can be better supported. As President and Vice President of the Queen's Commonwealth Trust and the Duke's role as Commonwealth Youth Ambassador, the Duke and Duchess cannot wait to meet with young leaders mobilizing change and adding to the beauty of these Commonwealth countries. We look forward to seeing you soon. Photo copyright PA Images, Tim Graham Getty Images, at Centre Barley, at African Parks Network, a youth alert post shared by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, at Sussex Royal on September 6, 2019 at 5.57am Pacific Daylight Saving Time but now, the stakes are much higher. The smallest thing that she does can become international news. Even Markle wearing jeans to Wimbledon was treated like an affront on the country for weeks. Markle's new PR firm recently, Markle has reportedly decided to take her reputation into her own hands. Markle has hired PR firm, Sunshine Sachs to help clean up her image. According to The Sun, Markle went behind the backs of Buckingham Palace advisers to hire the company, known for using the so-called dark arts of public relations to improve the celebs' reputations. Markle got to know the company when she was working on Suits as chief executive Sean Sachs and Kelly Thomas Morgan represented her when she was on the show. They have also been helping her through a few recent events, like guest editing Vogue. The company also worked with Prince Harry to promote Travelist, the Duke's new travel initiative. Harry paid for their assistance from his own wallet and not from taxpayer funds. We briefly worked on the Vogue project in the US. Market and were retained in the past few weeks for the launch of Travelist in the US. Market, Chris Bastardi, VP, Head of Strategy. But some people have been wondering why the Royals would hire Americans to help with their reputation. Why do you need a defamation expert on a charity's board? Royals author Lady Colin Campbell told the outlet. The whole thing is farcical and impertinent. The crisis management is best handled by someone who understands the royal system, and not by Americans. Why did Markle hire the firm? Though Markle has been handling the constant backlash on her own, there is only so much that a person can take before they seek help. 
Meghan is said to be concerned the public is turning on her after damaging revelations, Dan Wooten said in the Sun article. These included her relationship with her estranged father Thomas Markle, stories about her negative relationship with William and Kate and hypocrisy over taking four private jet flights in 11 days while claiming she is an eco-warrior. Choosing an American team might not have been the best decision, but Markle had to go with people that she trusted. Senior palace courtiers have been left bemused over the last few months that the couple have been ignoring advice from their own highly professional team and will instead listen to outsiders in Hollywood, a royal insider said. But Meghan trusts Scully, who got a prime seat at her wedding and she's known for years. We'll have to wait and see if the team is able to work the magic on Markle's